Hey guys, in this video, the brilliant Mr. B is going to be taking you through loads of facts associated with doing angles and how we can use these in questions. From the quite nice, simple ones that everyone should be able to do to some really, really tricky ones towards the end. If you want time stamps for these, they're going to be in the pinned comment. Now you can decide where you start this video and you can work through it, pausing it, rewinding it at your own pace. I don't want you to feel pressure when you're doing this. So please take your time with this and then when you're ready to do some more revision, go over to my website and see the thousands of multiple choice questions that are just waiting there for you. We're going to have a look at angle facts and in this video there are three main facts you need to remember. The first fact is that if you have a right angle which is an angle that is shown with a square shape then that is equal to 90 degrees. The second fact is that if you see a straight line with angles on it then those angles add up to 180 degrees. The third fact is that if you see a point and you have angles around it in a circle shape, then that is equal to 360 degrees. Now, all these questions, even the different shapes, we have straight lines, we have right angles, we have circles, they always use the same method, and they'll continue to use the same method into doing this with triangles and quadrilaterals as well. So here's what you do. Firstly, you identify the angle you've been given in the question. So in question one, we've been given 43 degrees. Once you've identified that angle, you take it away from the total. So for question one, those angles are on a straight line, so the total is 180 degrees. And you subtract the angle that you've got away from the total. And what that's going to do is give you the missing angle, the bit that's left over. So we're going to use a column subtraction, so we need to borrow one to start. And since 180 has, has a zero at the end, you very often have to borrow one. So 10 take away 3. 7 take away 4 and 1 take away 0. So our angle x is equal to 137 degrees. Now looking at question 2, it's another straight line. We identify the angle we're given. We've given 116. The total as a straight line will still be 180. So we're going to subtract the 116 away from the 180. Again, we do have to borrow one to start. We can't start with taking away from the zero. So 10 take away six, seven take away one, and zero take away zero. Our missing angle, x, is equal to 64 degrees. You want to check your answer, if you do 64 plus 116, it should give you 180. Question 3. Identify the angle you've been given. We've been given 32. Identify the total. Now that looks like a right angle. We've got the square shape. So we're going to take the total and take our angle away from it. So you'll notice it's the same working out, but we're starting with a different total because straight lines are 180, but right angles are 90. So it's a different number. We're going to have to borrow. So we have 10 take away 2 and 8 take away 3. So our missing angle is 58 degrees. Moving on to question 4, we can identify the angle and we have 278. Identify the total. Now this is a circle shape, angles around a point, it's 360. So again, it's exactly the same calculation. We're taking away the angle being given from the total, but this has got a different total because all the angles around the circle are 360. We're still going to have to borrow one at the start. So we have 10 take away 8. 5 take away 7, we'll have to borrow again. So 15 take away 7 and 2 take away 2, which is 0. So our missing angle, x, is equal to 82 degrees. Moving on to question 5. The angle being given is 33 degrees. The total is 360 degrees. So we're going to take away the 33 from 360. 
Let's make sure you line up the tens and units. You don't make mistakes. We have to borrow one at the start. So 10 take away 3, 5 take away 3, and 3 take away 0. Our missing angle x is 327 degrees. Now, the medium questions, we've got a lot more numbers involved, but it is actually exactly the same method. So step one was identify the angles we've been given. So in question one, we've got 75, but we've also got 33. Now, if you're given two angles, what you need to do is add them together. So we find the total of all the angles we've been given as clues. So five plus three, seven plus three, that gives us 108 degrees. And now we've got the total of all the angles we've been given as a clue. It's the same. We find the total. It's 180 because those angles are a straight line. It makes a semicircle shape. We're going to take away the 108. And whatever's left over is going to be our missing angle. And again, we've got to borrow one to start because we've got a zero at the end. So 10 take away 8. 7 take away 0, and 1 take away 1. So our missing angle, x, is equal to 72 degrees. Moving on to question 2, using the same method. So identify the angles you've been given. So we've been given 71 and 42. We've given two angles, so we need to add them together. So 1 plus 2. And 7 plus 4 gives us 113. We're going to identify the total. It's a straight line again, so 180. Take away the 113 that we've been given as clues. We're going to have to borrow one to start our subtraction. So 10 take away 3, 7 take away 1, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So our missing angle is 67 degrees. Now this method works exactly the same with other shapes. So we've just done two angles on a straight line, so they look like semicircles. These look like full circles, so we're working with 360. But we're going to start off with, we've got 35 degrees. We've got 255 degrees. And we're given two angles, so we're adding them together. 5 plus 5, 10, carry the 1. 3 plus 5 plus the one we carried is 9, and 0 plus 2 is 2, so that's 290. And now when we take away from the total, because it's a circle, our total is 360 this time. It's twice as big as the semicircles, the angle's a straight line. So we're going to do 0 take away 0, which is 0. So you don't always have to borrow one at the start, but then 6 take away 9, we will have to borrow one here. So 16 take away 9 and to take away two. So our missing angle, x is equal to 70 degrees. So let's practice that with the next question. Now this time, we don't have two clues, we'll be given three clues, but it will work exactly the same way. So we have a 78, we have a 76, and we have a 64. Three clues add up three numbers. So 8 plus 6 plus 4 is going to give us 18. Carry the 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 6 is 20, plus the 1 is 21. So we have 218. And then it's still a circle, so we're still taking away from 360, the total. We'll have to borrow 1 at the start. So 10 take away 8, 5 take away 1, and 3 take away 2. So x, our missing angle, is equal to 142 degrees. So always the same method. Add up all the angles we give us a clue. If it's one angle, that's done with. If it's two, add them together. And if it's three, add them together. And then take away from the total. So let's do that for the final question. We have 161 degrees, 67 degrees, and 37 degrees as clues. All of those will need to be added together. 1 plus 7 plus 7 is 15. Carry the 1. 6 plus 6 
plus three is 15, and the one we carried is 16, carry the one, and one plus one is two. So we're 265 degrees, uh, the clues have been given, the angles we have, so find a missing angle, take it away from the total. So borrow one at the start, and so normal call subtraction, 10 take away five, five take away six, and we need to borrow another one. 15 take away 6 and 2 take away 2 is 0. So our missing angle x is equal to 95 degrees. Now the herd questions look much tougher. We have very few numerical clues, if any, and we have multiple missing angles to find. So what do we do? Well, actually, we are going to follow the same method. So with question one, identify the angle you've been given. We've been given 34 degrees and that's it. Step two, exactly the same. Take what you've been given away from a total. The total is 180 degrees. We're going to take away the 34. We'll have to borrow one to start. So 10 take away 4, 7 take away 3, 1 take away 0. So we have 146 degrees. Now we're going to think about this really carefully. The 146 is what's left over out of the 180, the full semicircle, when we get rid of the 34. And what's left is we have the missing angle on the left, and we have the missing angle on the right. Now, because they're both labelled with the same letter, they are both the same size. So because they're both the same size, if we share 146 fairly evenly between them, and to do that, we're going to divide by two. You get a same amount each. That will give you what one missing angle is. So half 46 is 23, half of 100 is 50. So 50 and 23 is going to give us 73 degrees for one of the missing angles. Now, if you're not sure about that, add them all up, add together a 73, a 34, and a 73, and you should get back to 180. So all that's happened is, if you've got more than one letter on your diagram, at the end, there'll be some sort of division that you need to do. Now let's have a look at question two. Now we're going to identify what we've been given in the question. And we haven't been given anything, we have no clues. So there's nothing to identify. And therefore, we have got nothing to take away from where 180. So 180 is what we've got left over. So we couldn't do step one, we couldn't do step two, but we have the 180. So what do we do for step three? Well, we just follow the same thing for step three. We have 180 degrees. We have three angles we want to find. Now, all three of these angles, the one on the left, the one on the right, and the one in the center, because they're all labelled the same letter, they're all the same size. So we're going to divide by 3. And 180 divided by 3 is 60. So one missing angle is 60 degrees. So even with a very strange question, I'm still following my three steps. Step 1, identify the clues you've been given. We haven't been given any, that's fine, leave it blank. Step 2, take away clues from the total. Well, I'm taking 0 away from 180. Well, that's 180. And then step 3, divide between all the letters. You have got three letters, divide them by 3. So I've used the same three steps, even though I wasn't given any clues. Question 3 works the same way. We've got no clues to identify, but we do know our total is 360, because we've got a full circle. So we're going to take our 0 clues away from 360. We have 360. For step three, 360 is going to be shared evenly between all the letters we have. And if we have a look at the diagram, we've got the X on the left, the X on top, and we have the X underneath. And because all labelled with the same letter, they are all the same size. So we need to divide by three. And 360 divided by 3, now you can use a bus stop method for this, you can use a calculator, it's going to give you 120 degrees. Okay, if you're not sure about it, 
add together three 120s, you should be getting 360. Now, question four has a mix of things. So first, we do have an angle to identify. We've got 114 degrees. So we have a semicircle. We have a straight line. We're going to take that away from 180. So it's starting off in the same way as the first question we had. We'll have to borrow one to do our subtraction. So we have 10 take away 4, 7 take away 1, and 1 take away 1 for 66 degrees. And the 66 degrees are all of the angles that we haven't found yet. Now look at the diagram of something strange. We've got 2x and x. So that means that one of the angles is twice as big as the other. And if you think about it, if you've got 2x, 2x is simply two different 1x's next to each other, joined up, added together. So if you've got 2x and x, all together you've got three x's. So we're sharing a 66 between the three x's. And 66 divided by 3 is 22 degrees. So x is 22 degrees, and so 2x would be 44 degrees if you're asked for that angle as well. Now moving on to the final question. So again, we're the same way. Identify the numbers you've been given. We've been given 132. Subtract it from the total. So 360. Take away 132. We'll have to borrow one as usual. 10 take away 2, 5 take away 3, and 3 take away 1. Now we've found what the missing angles are. Let's look at how many missing angles we have. And we've got 1, 2, 3 missing angles, all labelled the same letter, so all the same size. So all we need to do is show 228 evenly between the three x's, the three missing angles. And you can use bus stop method, you can use a calculator. On a calculator, I'm getting 228 divided by 3 is 76 degrees. So our missing angle x is 76 degrees.